Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and in today's video I'm going to be reacting to, as well as reviewing and listening to, Israel's song for this year's Eurovision Song Contest 2022. So please give this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, Israel have pipped using the X Factor Israel Michael Ben David with song I.M or I'm, I'm not sure entirely which one is the real title but please let me know down below what you guys think of this song i'm going to give you my first raw reaction i'm excited to see what israel has brought to the table this year they usually bring quality and last year we had aiden elena with set me free great vocals but the track lacked a bit of oomph and the production was lacking in something as well let's see how this goes Baby. Sometimes life can bring you down. Okay. But honey, keep your head up. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Oh. Remember who you are. Okay, those runs so far. You know. Okay, we're getting a sort of vogue type of type of song. You can say that I'm Okay. It's very sassy. Okay, so far this song is reminding me a lot of that song Boys I Know What Boys Like by Zara Larson. If you guys know that song, it's got a very similar beat. <laughs> And it's also a little bit like Swish Swish by Katy Perry. Another one in the basket. It's a little bit too similar to that. I'm not saying it's copying those songs, but the vibe is there. There's there's that kind of EDM, but very tropical house type of sound. I, I, I think it's okay so far. I like his sass. I like his style. His runs are really smooth and slick. It's just perfection like every single frequency of the note is hit perfectly really great live vocals let's keep going i hope this song kind of develops a bit further from this because we're getting the same hook in the bass line in the backing track and i like it to kind of do something else so let's keep going i'll stop talking <laughs> god I'm sorry, now it sounds like Wine Up by Cat DeLuna, if everyone knows that song as well. It, that melody is the exact same as Wine Up. I'm going to insert a clip, actually. Okay, we're getting a pop drop chorus. No lyrics. Okay. <laughs> Name dropping the year like last year. Okay, I like this. This is what we need. <laughs> Love the Mizrahi influences there. I like that vocal at the top. Okay, just before we get into the final chorus, there's parts of this I like so far. There's bits of the melody line which are okay, but they are sort of reminding me of other songs which cause originality slightly into question. That's not a criticism, of course. It's just my brain kind of telling me kind of like a warning flag going off that this 
this doesn't sound 100% unique. However, I like the Mizrahi Jewish sound that they incorporated there. I think it's always good to have a bit of identity in a song, which is kind of signalling that this song is coming from Israel. I like that. I think, again, his voice is great. He's got a great personality, like he's he's making me smile just by being on stage and being himself. I like that. But the song has its downfalls. It's it's not evolving. It's not developing. It's just sticking to the same pattern in the bass and it's not exploring other avenues. And I just feel like it could have been a lot better so far if it went a bit further, adding a little bit more melody lines, developing kind of taking the song in a, in a different direction. It's just very predictable to me so far, but I'm just gonna let this last 40 seconds or so ride out and we'll see what happens. This great vocal control. You ready? It's got a powerful message. I like it. <laughs> okay, so I love him. I think he's great. The song, I don't know. It's definitely modern. It's it's not dated. It's the sound is very up to date, okay? I just think it was a little repetitive and in from a musical perspective, it really just didn't develop, it didn't go anywhere new, and I need songs to surprise me as a as a musician, as a listener for Eurovision. I need a song to take me off guard. And that didn't. It didn't. It just I was nodding my head like, okay, I know the chorus is coming. Oh, I know the verse is coming. The only thing that surprised me was the ethnic sounds, the breakdown with the dance. And that's the bit I enjoyed the most because it had personality and identity to it. The rest of it, it really just sounded like a Swedish written song that had been rejected from Melfest from 2016. And I just think Israel's track record at Eurovision has been quite strong in the last few years. Kobe Marimi is an example of a song that should have done better, even though some people might have called it cheesy, a little bit dated, I thought it at least had identity, and it had his heart stamped in the song. This, to me, is an empowering anthem, this song by Michael Ben David, it's empowering, it's got a great message, but the music isn't matching up to that message, and I need the music, I need the song itself to, to, to be hand in hand, with the same level of quality and it's it's just not i can't unfortunately because i like him so much as a person i like his style his vibe but i just can't score the song any higher than a six so that's what i'm gonna give it and i apologize and i know some people might like this song i just couldn't quite connect with it as much as i really hoped i would but let me know down below in the comments what you guys think and please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon for more Eurovision content. Bye!